I'm gonna ask if I'm playing right now. Singles. Robin versus Pokemon Trainer. Definitely an interesting matchup. Oh, that risky Arc Fire is still landing it though, surprisingly. Might be a bad habit of JoJo. Or we can say Lancer versus Nyrix. Let's see. Not jumping up from ledge. There we go. From there, jump. Great forward air. This Robin throwing a lot of moves that shouldn't be hitting, but just are. Especially on a small character like Squirtle. An amazing show break, and if he charges S-Smash, that'll do it. Even without the Levit Sword, it'll still kill. Impressive. Good up airs. Great ladder combo, really. Oh, that's right. Just I love that he grabbed him, even after missing the F-Smash. That was impressive. Alright. Good recovery. Oh, those active frames of the projectile. Robin is still very powerful. And Projectile is even being even better in Smash Ultimate, knowing that you only get one air dodge. A shameful SD from Lancer. Good read. Ivysaur, though, should be able to easily take the stock. However, Robin is slightly heavier in this game, and with him increased gravity in this game, he'll be living even a bit longer, especially off the top, which is um, where Ivysaur usually kills. That old spike. Robin isn't necessarily, you know, protected above him when he recovers. So recovering low is always risky. Woo, good heal. The slurp. Forward air. Yeah, finally, these moves that aren't that should be hitting are finally, you know, not hitting. And Lancer are finally catching on. Obi is key to bringing this back. Those are good razor leaves. Not comboing off of it. Bad on Eric's part. Most likely just uh, I don't know, didn't expect it to land. Didn't think of what to do for a follow-up, like. Despite getting hit by long lasting moves, sometimes it's just hard to think how do I follow this up. Alright, following up with. Oh, up B. I wouldn't have done that. As I just I probably would have stayed at ledge. Probably go for an F smash. He's, he's, he was doing good when he was throwing out F smash neutral. Just because he got grabbed once out of his F smash just kind of discouraged him. And he shouldn't have stopped doing that. So, once he takes stage control, that works too. Back throw, always reliable. But once he takes stage control, throw out F smash neutral. And especially throw it out at ledge when you're edge guarding your opponent. Sure, he hasn't been edge guarding his opponent as often. Definitely a good L Thunder, almost hitting him too. Jo um, Lancer being very resourceful with his uh, air dodges, not throwing him out willy-nilly. But it's not paying off for him because he's going to get hit by a lot more moves! This guy remembered a neutral air dodge. That was definitely his biggest flaw. But other than that, that was uh, a good first stock. And he took off the he took off Robin's first stock with a back throw there at the edge. He simply got hit by a lot of moves that he shouldn't have, shouldn't have got hit by. Partially because he was jumping too much. As Squirtle, you don't need to jump as often. You, you Down tilt, F tilt are some of your best moves in Squirtle. Good luck, Jack. Jack, good luck. Good luck. No! <laughs> okay, same characters. Let's see if Lancer learned his lesson. Really likes his narrow shields. All the way back. All right, so welcome to singles. How'd you do? Oh no! It, 
at least live, at least live for stream saying, "Oh, I messed them up. I did, I did some good stuff." I was going on, and I was getting some of the weirdest miss inputs in my life. I think oh. I might have to switch up the controller. I don't know, man. It's but good, it's good that you mentioned miss inputs because um, this first game of Lancer versus Nerex. That's right. what that's what Lancer was doing the entire time. So let's just let's see what he does this time. Hopefully, yeah. um, did you at least learn anything from your game? Yeah, yeah. I learned that uh, Bayonetta is still an ass. And she's still ultimate. okay. Yeah. She's still pretty good. Definitely in the upper 50s, that's for sure. Yeah. Up to 50, up, upper 50 percent, I should say. I say one thing though that uh, the Bayonetta player I was playing, he's really good. I'm not gonna doubt myself. Oh, that was that, was, was that yeah. Dennis? I don't, I don't know. Dennis is a beast. Um, um blonde hair, blue shirt. Yeah, that's yeah, it. he's really yeah. good. So. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not mad. Come out in the lab. I knew one thing that I was gonna face. Oh yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a shark tank right. out here. And, oh my god, right now, Jojo is right off the side. Yeah, Lancer, looks like he learned his lesson from last match. Um, oh, oh that, was, okay. that was bad behind in the beginning, but he lived. So I get hit by um, a projectile. If that was the Levitt Sword, he would've been right. dead. Nerex right now has a pretty, trying to get something done. Oh. And there we go, finally Nerex taking the first stop. 40%. This is, a, this is a lot easier to track than doubles, don't you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god. Much better. Dude, doubles is so hard to keep track of. <laughs> Especially, I'm like, yo, this is my first time. Like, how am I? What am I looking at? Yo, dude, I was leading on you. Like, half the time, I'm like, yeah, oh my god. Oh, I'm like, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> all that's all commentating is, just leading yeah. on each other, so. And Ivysaur, oh. what the He took, like, I did, I did commentator's curse there. Early in the first game, I said he should be throwing um, forward smash out more than he did. did that. There Evan we go. Did. Players learn by just saying it out loud. Oh, I like that he's using Razor okay. Leaf's counter projectiles, but that was not safe at, 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 at that distance. Uh, Narek's trying to get something done. Team Robin, okay, nice job. Getting some space right now. You know, Robin always likes to have some space, but you also have to consider that Ivysaur has Razor Leaf, mm -hmm. which is a really good projectile, can follow into a lot of kill confirms. So you gotta be careful trying to keep space with Ivysaur. You're He's, right, respect it. Yeah, you gotta respect it. Okay. He's an elf one, they're going on stage. Not having Charging. space there for that projectile. There we go. He just, he, I like that. He's fading back oh. space, as you said. Oh, shielding. Okay. That's not good. That's, that's adaptation. Ooh. He's going he's gonna to realize why Ross is going to have shields. He's, I'm thinking he's trying to force a parry. I mean, he's definitely getting a parry situation. Good. Gentleman, gentlemen's jab will right. kill it. Nerek's definitely pulling it back. Oh, this is scary. Being a okay. mid percent. Oh, okay. Switching to Squirtle. Okay, switching to Squirtle. Scary. Oh, no! Incredible tech. Oh, my God. The tech. He was so close. He might have oh, been spiked. Oh, my God. Oh, the active frames. Okay. Great combo. I thought he was about to do something saucy. Yeah. He's about to do something saucy. I was about to get lost in the sauce. <laughs> Without the sauce, you are lost. But Yo. sometimes you get lost in the sauce, yeah. you know? And sometimes the sauce consumes you, you know? Oh! oh! I'm telling you, folks. Throw F Smash in neutral as Ivysaur. Did you see how the Ivysaur looked like he was about to go for the dab? Mm -hmm. But he's like, nah. I have some respect. He was like, nah, nah. Yeah. All, right. All right. So surprisingly, we're going to game three. It's okay. nice to see. Game uh, three. Okay. Yeah. It's really nice to see no two O's in a bracket just right. because. Sometimes there are players who are two levels of skill above another player, right. and it's a shame to see O2s. But when you have players that are within at least one skill level, it's nice to see game three. Yeah. Just going neck and neck, it's nice. It's definitely something, you know, you gotta love singles play. You know, I love doubles, but singles play, you see the dynamic action, you know. The classic. Yeah, go. Especially in Ultimate, we see Dragon Ball, Goku, Vegeta <laughs> moments all the time. Mm -hmm. We've seen these two going back and forth, and it was a beautiful match. Clashing you know, constantly. Yeah. Uh, Narek, definitely, he has to learn how to control the stage more. He has to get on Pokemon Trainer's ass. Yeah. He has to get on him. All right, going to FG. I wonder if made him oh. uh, choose a decision. I'm back up. Right. Oh, good luck, man. Right. You're running the gauntlet. Right, I'm running the gauntlet, but yeah. this time, this time. Okay, Robin versus Pokemon Trainer again. I like that. Stalling at the Legend is using his Magnet Hands. Robin with some incredible Magnet Hands. I guess, uh, I guess it's because uh, Arc Winds kind of has a weird angle, so he really needs it. Like the second part of Arc Winds sends him in a, um, a different direction, so he's got to be very careful. You know what? Nier is a really mostly careful player. He sometimes will throw out moves that he knows won't connect, but it's good because, like, I don't know, maybe it's safe. Like that. That that's safe at roll distance. So see how um, how long it takes for Arc Thunder to come out. Great edge guard going deep off, oh, impressive. Takes a lot of guts to actually go off towards your opponent, even if, even for Ivysaur, because going down low could be scary. Even if you can change into Sarzard and get extra jump in the up B. 
But if your opponent throws on a move that trades with you, you could be gimped. Good back airs. Again, um, Lancer loves to do Nair constantly. Especially a Squirtle and as Ivysaur and a Charizard. They're all they're all good Nairs for all characters. So I mean, hey, it's it's, it's more of a why not move? Why not throw it out? Oh, speaking of why not, down throw into up B. Good as Ivysaur. That was good free. That was some good free damage you got with those Razor Leafs. There we go. Throwing the smash off uh, in neutral. However, you don't want, you kind of want to react to it more often. You don't want to just you don't want to throw it out when they have invincibility at ledge. And besides, Ivysaur F smash doesn't hit hit um, at ledge. Impressive, uh, impressive sword play. Missing the combo. I check if they call my name. I'm sure we'll be blank for a while. <laughs> 